Okay, so lately I've been thinking more and more about getting into wet tumbling, um, mainly because of stuff like this. This is brass from my 12.7 black powder. It's pretty, uh, does a pretty good number on them, pretty dirty. Uh, can't leave them setting around very long. you got to put them in water anyway. So I got a bunch of those. I've got three 45-90 Winchesters, and I just got some various dirty cases there. And I got my regular tumbler with a half full of uh, warm water, a little bit of dish soap, and a tablespoon of dishwasher detergent. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a try. I'll let it go for, I don't know, half an hour and check it, then go from there. There's those ones. There's those ones. I had a now I'll just turn it on. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'll come back in a half an hour and check it and see. Okay, so here's progress after an hour. I got called away so I couldn't check back on the half hour. And as you can see, they are a bit cleaner. Um, this is one of the 4590s. Um, I was scraping on it there, but it's taken all the dirt and grime and everything that was on them. Uh, the black powder stuff it hasn't really done a whole lot for so I don't think it's going to work very good for that so I may have to invest in the the rotary tumbler but for the regular stuff it's it's come out pretty clean well, you can see how dirty the water is it was clean when we started anyways I'm going to turn it back on let it go for another hour and I'm going to let it go all day we'll see what happens I'll keep checking on it, and any time I notice a significant change, we'll shoot a little bit of video. Okay, so my brass has been in here for just a little over three hours now. And as you can see, the black powder stuff is considerably cleaner now. Even those old... 4590s are, are starting to come around. So I don't think it's going to make it real shiny like the Lemmy Shine and the Stainless Steel, bead, stainless steel Beads do. Um, I tried to find Lemmy Shine, I couldn't find any, so I just used, uh, a, I don't remember the name of it, but it was a um, dishwasher detergent, just a powder formula. wasn't the cheap stuff, you know, just a regular whatever name. It's doing a pretty good job. Like there's uh, at least 30 out 6 that I'm not even sure how that got in there. I don't shoot a 30 out 6 so I probably picked it up at the range thought it was 308 or something. So yeah they're getting pretty clean. I'm gonna let them go in here until tonight and uh, just, yeah, I'll come back after supper and and take them out and whatever that is you know, that's be how clean they are. I put them in right at lunchtime and I'll take them out at 6 o'clock and I don't think it's doing any damage to the brass so it's not like some of the tumble media if you leave it in too long it just I don't know, I found it caked into the cases it got real dusty so I'll let this go for 6 hours and and see what happens so next update in about 3 hours Okay, so I said I was going to come back around 6 o'clock, and, well, I forgot. There's a shot of the water. It's pretty brownish. It's hard to get to show up, but there's the brass. So, as you can see, it didn't take everything off, but 
all in all, it did a pretty good job. Most of my 12 millimeter brass is pretty clean. Those 4590s are half decently clean. Um, everything that, well, everything except for the stuff that was really tarnished came out good. And that all happened within the first couple of hours, so I think I'll start using this more often. Uh, just throw my stuff in and let it clean for a couple hours, get all the dirt off of it. And I guess it does it does as good a job as the corn cob media does, for sure, and it's cheaper. A little bit more of a pain in the ass that you have to uh you have to uh dry them off afterwards, but I got a wood stove in the shop there and I got my toaster oven that I use for coating bullets, so I don't think it'll be a big deal. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments. And see you next time.